What's going on guys and welcome back to Command Point. A few months ago I had kitbashed Lord Inquisitor Tyrus, one of the most iconic characters from the old Games Workshop skirmish game Inquisitor. Today we're finally going to go ahead and get this model painted up but before we get into that guys make sure to hit that subscribe button that way you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And with that out of the way let's get into painting. After priming the model using Chaos Black Spray, the first thing I do is go around the model and paint a thin layer of Stegodon Scale Blue onto all the areas which I want to reflect light. This is the first step in making the armor look more realistic and add depth. Next, I cover all the areas we painted blue with a layer of Skaven Blight Dinge, thin to the point where it's basically translucent, just enough to help darken the blue and blend it into the black of the armor. After those highlights are done, I edge highlight the armor using Dawnstone. Now we need to add some gold to this armor. We aren't going to completely cover this model in gold like the one pictured in the Inquisitor rulebook, but we do have to add some gold to it to give him that gaudy, inquisitorial look to him. My gold of choice these days is Balthazar gold, which I apply to his cross amulet, the pauldrons, the Inquisition symbol behind his head, the detail on his bolt gun, and the relics hanging from his waist. Balthazar gold is a dark gold, basically a bronze, and it adds to the antiquated look I want for this armor. For all the areas I want silver or bare metal, I used Iron Warriors. This included the bolt gun, blade, and the chain for his amulet. Switching back again to Balthazar Gold, I applied a gold trim to the armor on his arms and legs. Essentially what I'm doing here is edge highlighting using an STC brush from Citadel. I love this brush for its ability to maintain a sharp point. I think it's perfect for applying edge highlights or any other sharp details. Once I finished the metallics, I started on the purity seals, using Xandri dust for the actual parchment and pink ore for the wax seals.
Now I'll use Mephiston Red to paint the tilting plate. I'm also going to paint the same color onto the undersuit of the armor, helping to give it some more contrast. Next up, I'm applying Auric Gold to all the brightest spots on the gold, making sure to focus especially on the shoulder trim, inquisitorial symbol, and bolt pistol. To paint the power cables or the power fist blade thing our Inquisitor is carrying, I first paint the top cable Mephiston red and I paint the bottom one with Mornfang brown, then add a layer of Averland Sunset. And what would a power cable be without some caution stripes? Using the STC brush again, I applied some freehand script onto the purity seals. I know it looks rough right now, but later on in the video, you'll see how I clean it up. Switching back to Averland Sunset, I clean up those caution stripes, trimming them down to a uniform width throughout the length of the cable. Here I'm kind of scratching and painting over some of the freehand script with Ushapti Bone to trim down those thick black lines and make them look more believable as text. Now moving on to shades, I shade the purity seals, gold metallics, cables, and bone areas with Agrax Earthshade and the silver metals using null oil.
Getting started on the head here, I first undercoat the nose, mouth, and cheeks using Mephiston Red, and the areas around the eye with McCrag Blue. By using multiple thin layers of a flesh tone, these colors should be able to shine through and give the face a more natural look. It sort of worked here with the blue, but I had gotten a little too heavy handed with the lower half of the face. Ultimately, it won't matter that much because of how low this head is going to be sitting behind the armor's gorget. Now onto the eye lens. Here I use Evil Sun Scarlet, then apply Mephiston Red towards the bottom left of the lens. This darker red is going to contrast with the spot of Army Painter Matte White I'm applying using the STC brush on the opposite end of the lens. And now with the face painted, we can move on to washes. Inside the scar at the back of the head, I'm going to pin wash Caraberg Crimson to give it that kind of pink and purple wound look. Then I apply Reichlin Flesh Shade all over the head, giving it a few coats making sure to avoid any pooling on the flatter surfaces of the head. With that done, all we have left is to attach the head and get this inquisitor based. I had so much fun working on this kit batched Inquisitor, and I hope you got just as much enjoyment out of watching these videos, and maybe even feel inspired to try and kit bash your own. If you want some more hobby content, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Hieronymus underscore botched, and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll know when our future videos go live here on Command Point. A special thank you to the Command Point patrons who support me and enable me to produce these videos. For as little as $1 a month, patrons get early access to all Command Point videos, a special role in the Command Point Discord server, and have our eternal gratitude. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again in the next one.